welcome to Aqua Bloom Boutique channel. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Zoa, or you guys can call me Z if you guys cannot pronounce my name Zoa, or you guys forgot how to pronounce it. Anyways, today is just going to be a video log, work with me type of video. So I'm just showing you guys how I prepare for my embroidered shirt orders. So this was a custom request from a customer on Etsy to do four shirts. She wanted a design that I didn't offer on my Etsy shop, so I consider this as a custom since it's not any of the design that I offer on Etsy. So here you are just seeing me use Kota cottons, um, cutting them out to the size that I need because I'm doing an applique font. So I need the fabric for the font that she requested. So I'm cut them to the size that I need, so it's easier for me to just place them on the font when I finish the position, the applicant position step. So I'm just trimming them down using my rotary cutter and my ruler and my mat on my cutting table. And these fabric are from Joanne or Hobby Lobby. So I get most of my quilter cottons from Joanne or Hobby Lobby. And the next, you guys are going to see me bring out my large bolt of heat and bond. And I'm going to just trim them just to the size of the applique fabric that I just cut, that you guys just saw previously. So I'm just using my large ruler to cut them down. You guys can get this ruler from Joanne or Amazon. And I'm just trimming them to the size that I need for the to adhere it to the fabric which is for the applique so yeah that's it you guys and then I will tell you guys more what I'm doing next So right here, I'm just showing you guys how I adhere the heat and bond to the fabric applique that I prepared previously. So I took them to my little station here where I have my Cricut Easy Press. I decided to use my Cricut Easy Press because it heat up way faster than Aquamarine. If you guys don't know, Aquamarine is the name that I give my heat press that you guys always see me use like in most of my videos but since aquamarine heat up way too slow I decided to just 
always use my Cricut Easy Press to adhere my Hina bond to my fabric when I'm prepping for an embroidered shirt. So here you just see me doing that on this little station. And I'm going to let you guys know that, you know, I am a stay-at-home mom and I work around my home life schedule, my kids' schedule. Um, my husband worked like an eight to five job, so I'm home with the kids and I have to try to work around my kids' um, schedule because I do have three kids under the age of 10 years old. So most of the time you guys will see me like work mostly late at night because at night is most of the time where my husband's, well, my husband's home around 6 p.m. So then he'll help me watch my kids around those times where I can work late into the night. But throughout the whole day, I will do a little bit here and there when I'm able to find the time around my kids' schedule. So you guys will see, sometimes like I will have light out, sometimes I don't like in my at the video log yeah so when you're a stay-at-home mom and you have no babysitter yeah you guys have to do what works for you guys and just do a little bit here and there I'm really okay with that because I'm a real small business and I don't have that many order and plus I don't want that many orders too because I feel like this is a lot of work guys and it is not easy work because there's a lot of preparations that goes into the embroider shirt. You guys may think that the embroider machine do all the work, but there's all these little tedious steps that you guys have to do before it even get onto the embroider machine, like, you know, fix the embroidery design or do what the customer wants, like fix everything on embroidery and then figure out what fabrics or what patterns you guys need um, to prepare for the applique part, if it's applique design, or if it's not, if it's a sketch design, you guys have to go and select like what fabric, I mean, what thread look good together or goes together. So it's all of the designing part and preparation part that takes time. And then most of the applique and border birthday shirts takes about like 30 to one hour and 30 minutes. And I only have one embroidery machine, so with the amount of order that I have weekly from Etsy, it's good enough for me. I mean, I would love to scale my business up later, but for now, it works for me. And then here you guys just see me using my infant station again. I love this infant station because it helped me always center my shirt all the time, and I don't have to second guess myself if I get center or not. And you want to try to minimize mistake as much as possible because you guys don't want to be making too many mistakes and wasting a lot of blinks because these blinks are not um, are not cheap. They're from ARB and Adrian Blinks and um, Blink Boutique where you guys can get, those are just the source where you can get your blinks shirt. Sure. Mostly I go with ARB, sometimes I go with AJ Blink, but mostly I stick with ARB because I want all my shirts to be consistent for my customer. But if ARB um, is out of certain thing, then I'll go to AJ Blink. Because on Etsy, I only give them two options of different style, and I think AJ Blink's a little bit different. So, you know, I only go to AJ Blink for certain things that ARB doesn't have because I know AJ Blink has some stuff that ARB don't have. So if I plan to offer like different things, and yeah, I will check out AJ Blinks and Blink Routine and other Blinks place. So anyways, here you guys just see me already finish my first applique step and I'm just trimming it down now. Um, this is a bing stitch. If you guys don't know what's a bing stitch, it doesn't do the satin stitch. Satin stitch is a little bit heavier. So with satin stitch, you guys can trim next to the stitch line because it's gonna enclose all of the fraying part. But with this, you do not want to trim next to it. Like leave at least an eighth of an inch of fabric um, sticking out because um, that way it will you know adhere to the shirt and help minimize 
the fraying because with bean stash no matter what you do like even after washes it will fray a little bit but with the heat of bond it help minimize that a little bit so you guys can omit this step because this is a bean stitch i don't think it will pucker bubble since it's a bean stitch only it's not a heavy satin stitch so i just do this because i always been doing this so this is like my step like prepare the fabric applique and then do the embroidery and and then you know use the mini Cricut easy press to press the applique part before it finish the satin stitch i guess i always been doing that so then even with the bean stitch it just automatically made me use the mini press to press down anything so yeah anyways so now i'm back at the machine and doing the next step so you guys can finish watching the rest of the video and if there's a step that is different i'll come back and explain to you guys
it's a whole thing. Okay, back to the back to the editing. All right. So this, anyway, is, with the month, eh. this is gonna be a video log, you guys. So yeah, gonna be. <laughs> Hey you guys, so the shirt, it's all finished and done, so I took it off of my board machine, took it out of the hoop, and now I um, flip it inside out, and I'm just tearing away the tear away. You guys see me hoop my shirt, I always do a poly mesh that is fusible that I put on the shirt, and then I use a tear away under it. So with these two stabilizer, um, I have find that it works for my embroidered shirt the best. So I always do the same step for all my shirt. So I take away all the tear away and clean it as much as possible. And then trim some of the thread that are too long in the back. And then I will trim around the fusible stabilizer. So then I will have a clean back. And after that, I will cut all my like, cloud cover or like the tender touch that you guys would adhere to the back of the shirt to prevent any itchiness for the child or whoever is wearing the shirt. Anyways, so here you guys see me um, finish another one again and just doing the same thing again. So for the rest of this video, I'm just chatting with my Discord bestie. So we're just, most of the nights we're always chatting while we work so for this night we were just hanging out um, video calling each other on discord while I work so here just sitting down and just cleaning up the back of all the shirt that I finished and just chatting with my bestie anyways um, you guys can finish watching the rest of the video I don't think I have anything else I think the rest of the video is just packaging and then yeah so anyways you guys i hope you guys have a great day um thank you for always supporting me watching my video and you know commenting so i appreciate each and every one of you that have helped me get this far in my journey so thank you so much you guys take care bye you guys
children Hi. mind, okay? So let's start with this um, scrunchie. This scrunchie is called the snowflake, and it will be up before July hits. So stay tuned and don't miss out because check.